Are you sure the mic's on this time? Yeah, the mic's on. Okay. Um, what's up, guys? So in this video, I want to talk um, about why, if you're starting a private label brand, a white label brand, why you should definitely not use AliExpress to find your suppliers, okay? <laughs> Um, I want to put this video out there because I'm already, I mean like, first of all, all the YouTube videos I'm seeing um, where people are white labeling, private labeling, and making videos about it, like, they're not really doing it properly for the most part. Um, but, so, let me just, I'm going to just get right into it. So, with private label, white label, first of all, private labeling is like taking a product that already exists and like slapping your name on it. White labeling is kind of, you know, doing more custom products um, and custom product sourcing and whatnot. But when you're starting out doing one of these, one of these ventures, right, AliExpress itself is for small quantities, um, cheap prices that you're like you're buying from suppliers, not necessarily manufacturers. Because on AliExpress, guys, there's a, there's there's middlemen for everything, right? So like if you're drop shipping, because like I got started, like this whole channel got started drop shipping, right? And like making content about that. If you are drop shipping, you're acting as a middleman, right? With AliExpress, there's a bunch of middlemen on the platform that connect you with other suppliers. Um, that's why, you know, when I'm doing product sourcing, like when I tell you guys how to do this, you're always trying to find multiple suppliers selling the same stuff because oftentimes you'll find someone selling it cheaper. Um, now, when you're trying to start a private label, white label brand, you're not using AliExpress, okay? Because AliExpress is not for wholesale trade um, and it's not for ordering in bulk and getting custom products. What you need to do, right, is go on Alibaba, okay? Now that's the prime, like, they're, they're owned by the same company, but they're very, very different. Alibaba is for wholesale goods, okay? Which is basically what you're doing with private label, white label brands. You're gonna be ordering a bunch of product in bulk, okay? And that's how you work with these actual manufacturers. Because on Alibaba, there's actual trade managers, trading companies, manufacturers, um, actual people that you can talk to and get very, very fast response times, okay? On AliExpress, on the hand, if you're trying to find a supplier to do custom products for your for your brand that you're trying to start up and order in bulk, AliExpress is not the way to go. Because again, when you go on AliExpress, you're buying in small quantities, you're buying products that are already available, already packaged up, um, already good to go. On Alibaba, all the products you're seeing, like those are those are manufacturers showcasing what they can do for you. Um, and that's, that's the route you wanna go. On AliExpress, guys, okay? the the main issue is like you, you'll find a product that you want right or you, you'll find a product that you know oh this might be good to private label in conjunction with the other products that I'm white labeling um, and find them but if you reach out to the supplier they'll have a very very long response time where they just don't really do like the custom products and there's 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 quality issues um, on Alibaba guys if you go there and talk to a supplier they're like they're, they're that entire website's goal is for private label white label brands right they're manufacturers they're people that are going to create custom goods for you um, they're doing that and and just that that's the route you need to go when you start private labeling um, and you know even in the documentary that I'm filming right now guys we're going that whole entire route where okay hey we want to white label these certain products we're going to Ali Alibaba we're gonna source you know we're gonna vet you know five different suppliers talk to them and then we're actually gonna be flying out to China soon um, to actually meet with these suppliers and go tour the factories and see um, quality control and whatnot but on AliExpress guys again I can't stress this enough is like these are small quantity products okay you're not ordering in bulk you're not making custom you know jewelry custom products custom anything on AliExpress these are like AliExpress is the drop shippers like heaven right but a drop shippers heaven is not a private white labelers like go to like you don't want to be there if you're private white labeling okay you need to set yourself apart you need to raise your standards you need to actually like again it takes more work to get started private labeling white labeling but the payoff is a lot more that's why I think that's the best industry to go to but drop shipping is the easiest um, to get into and make money and use those funds to start a private label brand okay guys so this is just a very very quick video on just why you should not be using AliExpress because um, I just want to get that out there for all you guys that are actually looking to start um, your private label white label brands um, and kind of like stop that mistake from happening <laughs> Um, you know very very early in the process for for your company. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video Make sure to leave a like don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe um, I will see you guys in the next one check the link in the or check the description right for all the links There's the course videos. There's um, a bunch of other stuff. There's presets for content everything you guys need is down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care